because they're with you now or because they're doing something that other women don't do? They just, there's a connection there that I don't have words for. And uh, they're as excited as I am. Are you good in bed? Do you bring out something in a woman that, because of your experience, are you great in bed? I better be good in bed or I should freaking hang it up right now, right? The other woman uh, who was in here said that you have a normal size penis. Do you ever wish that you had the penis of a porn star? Um, normal. Jesus, what planet is she from? Uh, what, what, what normal? I don't know. She said you were about six inches. Yikes. Ouch. That's a, that's a desperate lie. Um, have you measured your penis? Well, not, not, not this morning. I mean, it grows every day. See, no, but, this is the shit they're going to grab onto, and they're going right. to completely forget about my lawsuit and my attack, you know? Well, but, but, but in all seriousness, and I don't say measure from the balls. I'm talking about the actual <laughs> penis. I can't. Let me get back to you on that. Charlie, get a ruler now. <laughs> and uh, do you? Do, would you love to be a porn star? Would you love no, to shoot a movie? Have you ever no. shot any movies with any of these girls? No, no, no. God, no. Don't put anything on film. That's my number one law rule. Don't put anything on film. Right. But let's get back to this other thing. Go oh, ahead. you know what? Jesus, man, I left my trainer down the hall. Um, oh, fuck I, yeah. Uh, trainer. Can I, call in, can I call in tomorrow? Yeah, call in tomorrow. Okay. And I've got because there's a bunch of people on the phone that want to talk to you. I think you're going to find it really unusual that you have a lot of supporters in my audience. I'm looking at the at the list of phone calls. One guy says Charlie is his hero. Wow. Another guy says Charlie should say fuck you to CBS. Get another show. I mean, this is the kind of uh, audience that supports you. And, well, you know, I mean, at, at, <clears throat> at some point, I'm not going to stand around forever and wait for them to wake up. At some point, I'm going to live my life, and you know, I'm going to keep winning. And if they want to just, you know. Continue losing. That's not on me. One last on question. Sure. All right. I've got a, a pageant going on here Thursday. It's it's the girls who have banged Charlie Sheen. I got Casey wow. Jordan, Capri Anderson, Melanie Rios, and Lindsay Wag Wager. Do you know those women? Do you know those women? Uh, I think I remember some of them. Sure. I don't want to dignify their existence because they all burn me. You know. Uh, but who do you no, think I is the best? I don't want to celebrate them. Who do you think is the best one out of all of them? Uh... I don't know. I think they're all pretty lame, to be honest. And they're all and they're all lame because of what they did. It's just like nice, nice going, girls. Well, nice you, ha you happen to be right. They could have been. They could have uh, fleeced this sheep a hundred times, and they, instead they skinned it once. And shame on you all. Shame on you all. You were very generous to them. You were. I said it to yeah, them. Yeah, beyond generous. Beyond the, generous. From a business. Ask that clown Mel what I paid her. Well, I talk like superstar shit now. Ask her what I gave her. Melanie. Stupid. Yeah. What'd you give her? Yeah. Ask her. She'll tell you. And if she lies, I'll tell you the truth. How about that? All right. I will ask her. There you go. Because I think that's insane to give up a I great won't. person like you who's paying them. I that seem pretty decent uh, from this end, you know. Hey, Charlie. Like everybody was winning. Take three phone calls because... I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked at the support you get. Well, let's first of all, let's determine, is he Hollywood sober or is he sober? Yeah, are you Hollywood sober or are you sober? <laughs> Hollywood sober no, means... I'm, I'm, no, I'm sober down to my Adonis DNA. How about you, that? You're not even drinking wine? No. Because you could no, be I'm Hollywood saying I, sober. I'm saying I won't. I'm saying I won't. Uh, I'm Johnny, just, say something to Charlie. Please, please bottle. Go ahead, Johnny. Right. I'll give you access to Charlie real quick, and then he's got to go off with his trainer. Go ahead. Hey, now. Hey, now. Quickly. Hey, uh... Charlie, buddy, you're uh, you're 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 my fucking hero, dude. I, I wanna I wanna come hang with you for a couple of days out there in L.A. I'm flattered. I'm flattered, bro. Thank hey, you. hey, Thanks, can honored. I? Is that important to you, Charlie? That that guys see you as the man? Does it? What, Howard? I'm sorry. What did you say? Does it? Does it? Is that important to you that guys see you as the man, the fighter, the the tough guy? Does it? They, they, oh, they, absolutely, they... absolutely, because they see a guy that that, that has a real pair of balls that doesn't. Uh, doesn't back down. That believes in in his own truth, and and if others uh, aren't on board, then you know, catch you in the rear view, losers. Do you ever wish, Charlie? Sometimes when I'm watching you, I think I bet you Charlie wishes that he was born into an age more of like Genghis Khan, where a man would just go out and kill his enemies. Do you ever imagine um, yourself being free to do all of that? Well, yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to go back that far because then I can't <laughs> play a chat, you know. When you say warrior, though, I think you'd rather just take the creator of uh, the, this two and a half men and meet him in the octagon and just go hand to hand, settle it, huh? you know, and settle I, it. I, I issued that challenge, actually. What did you say? I said, bring it. I said, uh, let's let's do let's settle this thing like men. I said, if you beat me, then you can do whatever you want. What a match that would be. What a you match kidding? that would be. I mean, it would have last 10 seconds if I was showing off, you know. 
<laughs> All right, listen. I understand that you got to uh, go to your trainer. What's on the agenda for today? Yeah, what are we doing today? Give me the day. You're going to train? It's a, couple, it's a couple of things. I got one trend piece, and then um, then I'm just going to hang with my children and, uh, and the goddesses and uh, eat uh, eat a perfect meal and uh, just enjoy every moment. You know? What's a perfect meal? Anything Al cooks. You got a cook over there? I have a chef, yes. No kidding. Yeah, man. Come on. I got to keep this body in shape. I got to keep this mind focused. You know, we're at war. I got to get down to L.A. and hang a bit with you. You, 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 you. Open invitation, standing open, loving, total, gnarly invitation. Anytime, Howard. Anytime. And, Maybe and, time for a road trip. Are you, yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> are your ex-wives trying to keep you, Charlie, from the kids? Are they saying you're out of control and there's no way I'm letting you with the kids? God, no. Anybody who's writing that, it's just, that's the work of some, that's, that's fiction on its best day. Will they try to use that, that the goddesses will be introduced to the children and that they're not a proper influence around the kids? I mean, they can think what they want, but I'm here watching it, and it's all perfect and just absolute magic, you know? All right, quickly, Ross gets the last phone call with Charlie, and then we got to let him go. Go ahead, Ross. Yo, Charlie Sheen, you rock star. Thank um, you, Ross. What's happening, bro? Uh, no, chillin', man. Listen, I just want to say, I got to be honest, like, I, I, I never really cared one way or the other. So, Not that I didn't care about you as a person, but I, I'm so intrigued by what's going on, and I'm DVRing everything you do now. Like, me and my girl sat last night, watched a Pierce Morgan interview. Like, you're really, I'm just... I'm pulling for you, dude, and I keep your head up and keep you. winning and keep doing your thing. Charlie. You, that's it. Keep winning. You hear what he said? This winning thing is going to catch on. Winning. Will you ever, winning. in a way, this winning thing that you keep doing, it, it, you should almost patent that or right. copyright yeah. it. Winning. Well, let's winning. do it. Let's uh, do it. Uh, you know, Charlie, uh, you know, to me, looking in on this, <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> you liked all of this. It's just awesome. Well, um, come on, man. I mean, what's not to love? Jerry, go ahead real quick. Charlie. This, this is the real stuff. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Jerry. Hey, uh, Charlie. Denise was on the show a couple months ago, and I called up. She was talking about all the hot sex she has with her new man, and I asked her if she was still giving you the happy end, and she claimed she did, and I said, yeah, I kind of was doubting it just because relationships get old. Charlie, is Denise full of shit, this guy's asking? In other words, is are she... Are you two still... Is she... Are you still doing Denise on some level? I'm not. I'm right. not. You know, I, I'm not saying I wouldn't look at her. She's a complete stone cold hammer. You know. I mean, I love her. I yeah. mean, I can't. The first time you were inside of her, I would imagine was fantastic. <laughs> um. I yeah. I had to turn into an etching. Well, I'm on just saying. My, on the inside of my liver. Is she as good sexually as uh, she claims? Yeah. No, she's out of control. But again, I don't want to give away too much. You know. Uh, what is out of control to Charlie Sheen? Just great, just great, just to, you know, as, as excited as, 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 as I am, as appreciative as I am, as in the moment as I am, and that's, that's what makes it real, you know? Wow. All right. Well, listen, I'm not going to hope. I know. Epic. It's all epic, Howard. Epic is our, is our, is our word for everything. Charlie, I hope you get your show back. You and me both. Yeah. And, don't, um, hope. Hope, don't hope, Howard. Hope is for suckers and fools. Well, I, I wish you a lot of luck. I hope that uh, you get some peace and calm in your life. That'll come back. And, uh, you know, I'll right. get up. Well, there's certainly a whole company of people out there who, you know, would like to be working. So. Why don't, why don't you roll out a campaign today about, you know, why don't you just call Chuck, like, every 10 seconds, just say, dude, where are these answers? Well, you I'll know, tell you, she, you what she I'll do. Out the questions. She uh, let out the questions. Why won't you answer them? What are you I'll, hiding from? I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. I will put a call into Chuck today, and okay, I'll say, ahead. listen, Charlie's calling in tomorrow. Why not go on with him and settle this while I can, you know, be mediate. the mediate somewhat? Perfect. Perfect. I'm 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 available twenty four seven, literally. Okay. I will yeah. go work on that now. I'll have Fafa Fui himself work on it. You're awesome. You're awesome, bro. You're an absolute freaking rock star. You're completely awesome. I All love right. you and I'm just a huge fan and thank you for uh, making time with me. All right, and thank you for calling in. Not at all. I mean it's a, let, uh, here, Ralph wants to say one last thing oh, to you. Boy. Go ahead, Ralph. Oh, my God. Charlie, could I please move in with you even just for a week? You're my hero. You're the best. Why would he invite you? Why does he need you there for? Charlie is living the life. This is fantastic. Let me ask Ralph, how does that help me? Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, what I do don't you know. Know. What's the upside me? there? I just have one question. Why do you live in the Valley? It's like way out. Well, no, I, I live in Beverly Hills, but it's between Sherman Oaks and Beverly Hills. And I don't know. I can see Sherman Oaks easier than I can see Beverly Hills. So I call it Sherman Oaks because I have an ego about that, you know? Man, this sounds great. Yeah, I mean the chicks, the fucking porn house. Any and... party's right, you know. He doesn't get. He goes to work too. So what if he parties on the uh, when he's not working? That's what Charlie's saying. And if this show comes back, is there anyone who's not going to watch it? I, I think I'm everybody in. would have. I think we're I'm talking in. Super Bowl numbers. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, 
we'll just we'll just take the numbers we've been pulling and it's still you know kicking everybody else's ass and showing them how it's done. We just need a forum to do it in. Yeah, and you tell all these Hollywood assholes, to, you know, this is great. You tell this guy, like you said, this guy goes off to other shows. He should be concentrating on the show that made him successful. Well, it's like I love Raymond, literally. Everybody loves Raymond. I really love Raymond because Raymond made us a success. Right. You know, we, it was our lead-in. I can't ignore that. I can't pretend like that didn't happen. Right. And they're pretending like like, like Bang and uh, Molly didn't uh, they just showed up. They just fell out of the sky, and they were brilliant. No, we gave them their audience. So, Charlie... Our beef is with this Chaim guy, huh? <laughs> we can't get into that. We can't get into that because uh, that's all happened there. But, uh, yeah, no, Chuck, uh, Chuck, Chuck just needs to be put in his place, and someone needs to do it. The only one with the power to do it is Les. Les needs to either fire him or get him straight. Well, let me because tell you ready. something. I'm ready. His cleanup hitter's on the bench. Charlie, if, I'm you're ready, waiting, I'm if you're waiting for Les Moonves to do the right thing in life... <laughs> You're going to be waiting a hey, long time. Les is a businessman. Well, I, I don't know Come about on. that. Yeah, but if he's a businessman, then then, then make some good business moves, well, like celebrating me every day. Are you really going to stick to your guns and say three million or no show? Uh, season ten. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, come on, look what I'm worth. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you Mel Gibson like when you call that guy Chaim. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Hey, you said that. Make sure that all the reporters who jump on that say that Howard said that, not me. Did Mel call you and go, hey, Charlie, way to call that guy Chaya? No, that didn't happen. Come didn't on. happen. All right. <laughs> no, what the hell? Spoke about our children. What the hell? About our children. What the hell did Mel have to say, by the way? We were speaking about our children. No kidding. So, yeah. I heard you heard from uh, Sean Penn. Yeah, Sean came by. He's awesome. Yeah. Sean's a, yeah, he's a, he's a god. And there's, there's Sean, then there's the rest of us. He, Except that Sean, you're that special. He's a great actor, right? He's the best actor in the history of the spoken word. You 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 hold uh you hold Sean Penn up that high, huh? Oh God, yeah. Who's better? Who hey, can don't do fast times. Who can do fast times? Uh, I don't know. Milk, Dead Men Walking, uh, Mystic River. I mean, come on. Who can do these things? Oh, and I'm sorry. Then direct into the wild. It's not fair. That's true. Hey, Charlie. Fair, but, but, but we must worship him. And we must we must honor him as a national treasure. Period. The end. And he's a humanitarian. That uh, he just he's. he's He's got tiger blood. He's got a Donna's DNA. He gets it. Don't you laugh at it in the sense that, like Mel Gibson, that he can't even get laid properly? I mean, like, you're fucking all these girls. He's Mel Gibson, and he can't even hold on to one woman. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. Why don't you help him out? Why don't you invite I, him over? I, 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 <laughs> he's not inviting anyone over. No, no one gets in. Do guys ever get to get in the party with you? Like, do they ever get to, like, bang the chicks with you? You're not into that, are you? No, God, no. That's amateur yeah. stuff. Come on. Yeah. Is that amateur? That's amateur stuff. It's gay. I don't know if it's gay, but like, add a dude, pass. <laughs> Do you ever watch gay porn? No, come on. Because somebody else had it on and I walked past the room, perhaps. Some broad said you like to watch uh, tranny porn. Yeah, whatever. But that's Where all bullshit, you know? right? Yeah, there's no Where way you're... You know? Where no. Is you know? She's under a bridge somewhere. No way you want tranny porn. Oh, come on. Silly. Well, that's silly. the most important question to answer. Well, cool. Hey, by the way, this guy Ralph on the phone crashes at John Stamos's house. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but Stamos doesn't have anything like this going on. I wish oh, he would. Hey, you know, I'm sure he's got his own trip, and I'm sure it's a it's, it's a decent one and like that. But if he replaces me, then they all get you know what they deserve at that point. Would you be mad at Stamos if he replaced you? No, no, it's not his fault. But it's it won't last, right? Like, he can't replace you. You say? I don't know. I think the people would revolt. You ever watch, do you ever watch porn on YouPorn? <clears throat> no, it's too grainy. With Check that, it I out. Probably go. All right, I watch uh, I watch babysitter porn. I just want you to know that. <laughs> if I come over your house. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Uh, Does Charlie just have racks and racks of porn? Yeah, this... Charlie, really, what is your porn collection? Just that and then get out of here. <laughs> it's really, it's nothing. It's, it was burned years ago. All right. I mean, yeah, it's... Well, give my it's love like, to those. Not that epic. Give my love to those girls, especially uh, you I know. Will indeed, absolutely, yeah. And uh, you know, let's get together. We'll see what's doing. I love it. All I love right. it. It's you not, got it. Sounds epic. Sounds epic, Howard. Right on. And I'm going to call that Chaim character and see if I can't get him on the phone with you. <laughs> Go for it. All, All right. Go for it. Later. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks. Bye. 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 Epic. He's the best. He's epic. Wow. I love we... Ralph thinks an ev uh, you know, a good <laughs> idea is for him to join the party. Yeah. Charlie Sheen, everyone, for uh, 45 minutes. That was great. Wow. Wow.